Hello, this is Mila Lansdowne and I'm the author of All About Silk Scarf Business and I'm also the creator of this training series. Um, my background is management and I'm running my own creative enterprise and I'm also a mentor with the Women Enterprise Center because I so believe that we can have more quality of life when we utilize the, the talents and the skills we have and turn them into source of income. And that's actually the reason why I'm putting up this program. And, uh, and uh, it's about three videos where in the first one where we are now, I would like to show you the possibilities of having a creative business based on the talents and skill and in, in my case it was silk art and, uh, and build it up to a source of income. And why I know that it's possible because uh, you know many people struggle with, uh, with the part um, connecting the work to, to money making source. And um, I was faced with a situation that actually did not leave any other options that uh, I could take, or better say, I could, I could still apply for unemployment or whatever it was, which I wasn't aware of. And uh, so I just thought, no, I, I still believe in uh, doing what you love and make living with it, that I actually took everything I had and uh, I just made inventory and, and I had a vehicle and camera and so on so I put it everything together and, and put it everything on the, on the one card called make money with, with your art and, uh, and uh, I learned a lot and in these three videos in this training program I like to share with you what I learned so you might benefit in a way that you can scale your business and your activities to what you really want. And I think that's, that's the, the number one. You need to figure out why and if you want to turn your silk scarf into business. So scarf, I hobby, but uh, let's call it hobby, into, into business, into money-making uh, activity. And you don't, this, this training is actually for people who, who just want to explore the idea uh, to turn free time into income, to have a little bit more money that they have, and having fun, and having, having this satisfying feeling to create something that that others uh, appreciate. I, I think um, the payoff, payoff it's not only uh, the check you get, the payoff it's, it's uh, a multitude of benefits. But before we start, you want to, you want to ask, show me the money Mila, right? Okay, um, then um, there it is. If you wonder uh, if you can make money and I'll tell you what I did in, 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 the, in the whole career. And I have here a little chart with dollars and euros in case you are, you are in a different, uh, different uh, currency environment. And um, what, what I learned, and I exercised all of those. This list is not complete. But this list shows 33 different products and services you could supply in exchange for money. And uh, because most of us think um, silk scarf business is silk scarf. But uh, let's expand it, say silk art, because you can, you can do uh, large pieces, right? So, but many people stay on that uh, idea originals, right? And then, then it goes to 
Okay, uh, so how much silk scarves can I produce to make an income? And uh, you can pick your number. So if, if it will be if it will be uh, hundred thousand dollars a year, then uh, you need to know that you need to sell thousand scarves by hundred dollars to have hundred thousand, right? Or you sell you sell large pieces, hundred of large pieces by thousand dollars. You have also hundred thousand dollars. And, uh, and that way you can calculate what you can do. Uh, this is good, and many people I meet, and artists, they, they just want to sell originals. And uh, everything is fine with it. For me, it was, um, you know, I noticed that if I really would like to generate money, that I need to create larger chunks of, of it. And uh, so I spent some thoughts and I thought, okay, well, original is fine. And original, I would say, original is always the starting point. You need to have your skill, right? But the skill can be just the basic as we, as we um, were talking about in the previous uh, videos. And, um, but you need to master it. You, you need to have a skill, right? So you would have your original. This is the starting point. If you are now first, uh, just exploring the possibility or if you are already painting, um, one basic skill for the starters. From there you can grow your skill to a to multitude of techniques and, and different types of expression on your originals. But uh, start I'm, for for the ex explanation here. Let's start with with one basic skill, and uh, then we need to think about okay, um, how can I expand the number of people that can receive my work? And there there are several ways, and there are modalities to it. And when we go to the on my sheet here. The original is only one part of, of, the, of the modalities you can connect your art with the client. And, and there is a multitude, right, uh, scarves, shawls, like, like bridal shawls, and clothing, ties, eyeglass, cases, jewelry, um, and strings. Uh, you know, you find everything online, what, what, is, what is on it. Uh, curtains, table runners, uh, wall banners, and frame, bear, uh, frame pictures, and corporate gifts. In my case, what I did on the, on the um, original side was corporate gifts. That I found the most rewarding because what what corporate gift allows you? Um, I create for well, you know I, we will we will deal with how to approach the client and so on if you if you are if you are going to into the coaching program with me. But in the basic, it is you need to have relationships first, and um, and then you approach the client with a value proposition. You need to offer the client some kind of value, and uh, we come to that in in this session still. And then the good part, what I what I like is the creative part is to to create the the sample series for the client. And once you have that, and you establish your pricing and and so on your conditions, then uh, then you write a contract. You get a down payment, uh, usually 50 percent, and then then you buy your then you buy your supplies, and then you start to produce, and then you are finished. You deliver at the time you 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 agreed on, and uh, and then you get the rest of uh, of the money, and I, I really love that. Uh, that's why I went into you know modalities like wholesale, wherever 
I knew that what I'm doing here in daily productions is already paid for. But if you are starting, you, you are at the beginning of the journey, you need to establish yourself. And uh, I like to touch by saying establish yourself, and uh, this is the big chart here, <laughs> not to scare you, but yes. Um, in order to establish yourself, I would like to give you like overview to, to expand on the picture of products and um, and open you to these other options that will be to do reproductions from your originals and sell your skills. Because once you master the, the skill and, and be the basic or anything else, then you can actually teach others. And this works for me. That's why I'm standing here now, now and, and telling you how to, how to move ahead, how to benefit from my experience. Because my part is I love to teach. I need to have this purpose and sharing what I know. That's where I find my, my own um, satisfaction and fulfillment in daily life. But uh, for you, it could be anything of that. Doing originals or reproductions or selling your skills or any mix of those. So I, I leave this, this here with you just to think about what would you like to do because, because the, my focus is uh, to encourage you to pick what, what you love the most, what is the most satisfying um, activity. So these are these three modalities in endless products. This, this little 33 product list, it's, it's nothing uh, of complete. And you can put your own products in there and let your creativity soar because you are creative. I know that. And actually, I know also that you can sell. Because most of the time, you know, when I, you know, I, I see artists uh, working at the food store, filling up the shelves. I see artists doing doing work that that doesn't have anything to do with with their amazing talents. And uh, and I'm basically wherever I'm going, I'm encouraging people to 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 start to grow their their talents to to a source of of nourishment in, in every aspect of life, including money. So now let's, let's go to why so many people are struggling. From my observation, and um, oh, I, I show you something so, so you know what I meant. Um, I have one, for example, one scarf, and um, that I never sold. It's, it's a painting, basically. And what, what I'm producing from those is greeting cards, bookmarks, calendars, um, journals, even um, mugs and pens. You may think it's, oh, okay, I'm artist, I'm not doing that. Well, that's fine. Fine with you. Um, why I'm why I'm offering that as possibility, and it comes in the in the section reproduction of your work, is because it allows you to to have some kind of um, semi semi passive income. Isn't it nice, you know, to have your greeting cards in the galleries and get your check, like get 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 every month's little check into, into your bank account, and I just love that. So um, that's my way. You need to figure out your way. This is just to show you. Everything what I'm saying is for you just make you think how you can apply it in your life so you can thrive and have fulfilling life. So what is necessary to really run the business? And uh, I have here this little chart and I hope you can see it. One, two, three, and so on, ten pieces. And these, these three levels actually um, 
signify or symbolize the three levels. The top level is where you connect with your client. This is what you need to do to connect your product with a client. And um, number one is positioning. What is positioning? You need to place yourself in the marketplace in a very unique way. And uh, that unique way is based on your own values, what, you, what would you like to live, what is your lifestyle, what is the message behind your work, why you are doing that. Your clients, they are actually very interested in the background stories. They are not buying silk scarves. If, they were, if the client, well, you agree, right? Because if the client wants to buy a silk scarf, then Walmart has some for $5, right? So there are reasons why the client is buying or interested in your work. And you need to bring yourself out with those special values by having the client in your focus. What is your product? bringing into life, into the life of the client as a value. And um, I was asked to look up your website, and I can see very nice uh, positioning there. Uh, so my suggestion is create some kind of message that you like to convey that will be then visible on your website and on your, on your products and everywhere where you market it. And tell the people what you are doing and what the product is about. The next one is packaging. And with packaging, I don't mean the plastic sleeve that you put around a scarf or, or the um, certificate of authenticity, which of course must be there with your work. I'm talking more about what we said before here, packaging your talent, packaging it into products and packaging that in the way that it serves you and serves the client. So in packaging, I want to, you to consider what would be the right way for you that will actually fit your lifestyle, fit your geographical location, fit uh, your accessibility. For example, um, when I did um, a, a trade show, then travel was part of it. Once uh, my mom uh, became bedridden and I couldn't travel anymore, this wasn't possibility for me. So I needed to adjust. So whatever you design for yourself, then um, these are the three modalities and figure out what you like and what fits your lifestyle. Then uh, the next one is promotion. And promotion is more than just the advertisement in the paper or which way you ever um, reach out to the client. Promotion is actually focused activity that you will entertain to create relationships with your client, with the prospects, with the people who are interested in your art. And, um, and I really see a lack in the, in the community of, of artists or silk painters. Most of them jump into going out with a product without having the, the background that allows them to maintain the contacts that they are made at the point of sale, at the craft fair or at the gallery. So 
promotion and uh, and it includes website, your social media, your newsletter, creating relationships with a client. But now I have something here, number four, and actually, you know, I, I'm in steady um, learning myself. So I learned with uh, Brendan Bouchard uh, how to finalize, and this this point here, which is called partners, I did not have in my in my awareness. I was I was maintaining a relationship with partners, but I never put it as part of the business uh, big picture. And what I mean with partners is here, there are societies, uh, galleries, uh, groups you might be a member of, and they will be partners in your promotional activities when you use this uh, channel to put your data in there and that should be then website at least or it could be you know website can be blog for now I have only blog for, for teaching and anything that serves you as a tool to communicate with your, with your client then uh, have these have these uh, pieces of information with the with the partners where you were already connected with, and uh, actively seek um, other uh, groups and um, and look for partners that are good fit, that actually have the level of um, art and level of clients you want to be part of, right? So choose choose wisely. And uh, the same applies to gallery partnerships or retail partnerships. Wherever you, you want to partner with, um, make sure that it's something that, um, that fits your product and, uh, and you know, this uh, little energy that is in there. So, okay, so this, the top level, is the product part. And most of us, uh, well there. So, but where, where it ends is we have this, but what is missing is the business part. And to, to start to run a business, a creative enterprise, on whatever scale it is, if you are starting out, the main, the main, the most important thing is to see it as a business. To spend some thoughts and know where you want to go, have your number, and know how to get there and what what vehicles you like to use to generate money and, uh, and have everything working well. So you need to establish your business and the systems like, uh, you know, payment systems and ordering systems and connections. And you need to have a strategy how you want to bring your work out and uh, with a system together. This is, this is the part that is apart from the product, apart from you as a person, this is the mechanics of your business. And then we come down here to what is you. And uh, I have four parts of it here. The first is self-discipline. And don't get scared because you know, if there is a passion that you don't need to discipline yourself to, to work, to create, but you might have discipline to, to take care of yourself, you know, to eat properly, to take a walk, to take care of your clients, and whatever entails. And there, there is the self-discipline part coming into play. And um, in my in my coaching program, you will get um, you know 
PDF downloads and how to how how to structure the day better and because you know it depends on your lifestyle. You might have you know five children that you need to take care of. So everything needs to fit there, and it's still. Uh, it's in, it's very important that you still have this good feeling, right? So we, we don't want to have any stress. We want to have excitement, which is the positive flowing high energy. But stress is the, the is something that actually brings your creativity down. So so I want you to be in this expanded part of inspiration, creativity, enthusiasm, and, and excitement about what you are doing. So the next one is self-confidence. What I found there is a need to work on it is when artists come to me and, um, and talk to me about they, they work. Many of them are not aware of the beauty, the value, the uniqueness. And, um, and I think that actually self-confidence is the result of competence. And if you learn how to not only paint, but how you do the business, then your competence will create self-confidence because you will know what you are doing, why you are doing, for who you are doing that. You will have the whole picture and you will stand there knowing that you are providing value for the client. And that's the most important part. We will, we will work on it later. So the third part around you as artists is a support system. Artists are often, not always, but very often disconnected from heavy social life. You know, in their shop and, and in their basements or wherever and, you know, I'm, I'm one of them as well. So, but I noticed how important it is to have a support system. You need to find either artist or friend or mate, a mother, family member, or paid coach, or free advisory, someone where you can go to Tell about where you're going, where you want to be, and what, what your challenge is. And this person can reflect back to you. And whatever this person says, you will have your own answers in you. You will feel if what the person suggests is something you want to do or not. So um, please, look for support system. And I, I noticed that, you know, I, I reached out. I was looking for mentors and uh, and friends. I tried, I tried different ways, and um, then I found that personal coach is actually the most valuable thing because uh, these people are there 100 percent for you and they are supporting you in uh, whether they are focused, right? But it costs money. So, so if you are starting out, create support system with other artists, with, uh, with family members, with friends, with your mate, somebody who is really interested in your, in your um, progress. So and the, the last part of this system here is service mindset. Today, you know, in this new uh, way to communicate and to sell, it's really important to provide value. And in the service mindset, which, which I would say applies everywhere in life, um, to, to be 
more, you know, considerate about the others. But especially in sales, it's a part of sales strategy to, to put yourself in the shoes of your client and think about what challenges this client might have and what value and what benefits you are providing to the person or to the group, whatever your, your product is serving. And uh, with this consideration, once you start what value, you come actually up here to the positioning. Because part of the positioning is actually to find out what is your unique sales proposition. Find out, find out a message that you like to convey with your work. Define to who you want to sell, so your audience, your client. Uh, you might, you might uh, picture this person so you know what, uh, what, what uh, this person's likes and dislikes and, what, you know, a, a model uh, client. So you can, you can provide the value more focused. So in the, in the positioning and the unique sales proposition, you will basically um, design small statement that uh, allows you to reply when somebody is asking you, what are you doing? Instead of saying, you know, I'm, I'm painting silk scarves. Right? Then you fill in the blanks and then say, well, you know, it can be like, I'm helping people to find appreciation through unique products. Or in, in my case, and I have, it, I have it everywhere, I have a little message. Uh, it can be quote. Somebody said, said something to me very nice and I'm using that now on, on my promotional materials and where my message to the client is conveyed. So if you are designing your, your answer, then consider, think about uh, saying, okay, I'm helping or I'm serving, I'm providing. Providing what to who, which is the audience, right? So they, and then there is the benefit of it. So spend some thoughts because this is the part that actually needs to go first into, into your journey. So uh, back to service mindset. Today's business is about service, win-win, and value. The clients are very well informed, so they are expecting more from you. And if you deliver it, then you are the king, right? So get your creativity going on, on that specific positioning on your unique proposition, maybe your story about what inspires you, and, um, and spend some thoughts on that. Write it down. Writing is always, you know, engraving your thoughts. So I'm encouraging you to do that because if you continue, you will need, you will need this information. And if you spend some thoughts, then, then you are already a few steps ahead. And to, to boost your inspiration a little bit, actually, I, I thought um, I will put up a little contest. And this contest uh, is um, about our relationship. I would love to know why you want to start a silk scarf business or art business or craft business. What, what is the reason? Why? Because you need to have a good reason to carry through, right? Then tell me what are your main challenges that you can see? And the third question is what you tried already that worked or 
didn't. And the fourth question is, what you love about your art or your plant business the most? What fires you up? What inspires you? And then record these four answers to my four questions in little video clips. Post it on YouTube, and you can you can do that unlisted, have setting there, public or and so on. So unlisted is in there, and you get a link, and take this link and post it underneath this video in the comments, because I will look through, and the people who are really into starting the business, I like to I like to provide little support, and. Um, so I have the idea that the, the three, three video clips will receive a small silk paint set. And um, I like these silk paints because they actually remove the, the myth of the paints making the silk too sturdy. I found them that um, they are easy to use, but they leave the silk still with its gentle sheen and and um, you know this this little this touch of fluffy and and subtle magic of silk. So three of these videos will be rewarded by by a little gift. So I'm really looking forward, I'm completely excited about what you think. And um, But if you post a video or do not post video, I really would love to hear from you. Comments, what you need to know, what are the challenges, what you like to learn, because then I might be able to answer those questions and help you to move ahead. In a, in a fast speed. So this this is what uh, what the video is today about. And in the next video, I like to go in more depth to to the top part where our promotion positioning comes in, where there is the part about about. Um, website, web presence, uh, how to maintain relationships. And uh, I, see, I see it as the, as the main part and also the, the most obvious lack on, um, on artist side, what I observed. And then, then we will move forward into, into our systems, learn a little bit about, about what sales channels they are, and um, if you did not um, get the download of the free ebook, please um, go to the to the web post, and um, it's um, it's on Blogger and it's on um, on WordPress, and uh, it's all about silk scarves. So download it. There is the core of of all the information. What I'm talking about here is actually in this in this free download and it's the first part of, of a two book series where you can have something um, to study or look up. All right, so thank you very much for being here. Sorry for me getting out of the picture here. <laughs> and uh, I hope the next video will be much better as I am learning and I'm, I'm so happy to have you here. I love you and um, create, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.